Hey guys, it's uh, well Johnny again, and I'm gonna I'm on my way to uh, a stadium, a foot soccer stadium, uh, right now because I'm taking some pictures for a client, and he wants well some pictures of the stadium in his room. So I'm just gonna go there, and I don't really know what's gonna wait, what's waiting for me. So I took everything with me because I have no idea what I'm gonna work with. So um, yeah, let's give me like I think 20 minutes or something, and then we're gonna see how it is. Okay, um, so I think I can see it now, but um, I've been to one stadium before and it was, um, I don't know which one it was, but it was um, kind of outside of the city. So um, this one isn't really, so it's surrounded by I think many buildings, so I hope I can get a wide shot of it, but that's what I'm hoping, that's why I have took my 7, 18 to 55 millimeter. But well, I have to walk now and give me some time to get there. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm seeing, and I'm seeing this curve, so the end of the stadium on that side. I just asked the man if I can get around, and he said I could go around the right side, so I'm just going to try to do that. Uh, because right now it looks kind of boring and nothing to take a picture of. Well, nothing that I could put on a wall in office. So, um, yeah, yeah, just hope I'm can, I can get some shots over here, but well, let's wait what we can get. That looks more interesting over there. Nah, this pillar is not really usable. Uh, but I don't really know. It doesn't really look that good to me. I was really expecting something like a round stadium where I could really get some nice shots. Oh. Okay, I'm seeing some people inside there. I don't want to zoom in right now. Um, so I guess I'm just going to go with some close-ups with my 70-200. Because I don't think I'm going to get into it right now. Uh, I don't know what kind of people are waiting outside here. So, um, yeah, that could be something with all these stairs on there. Uh, okay, let me just change my lens. Okay, so I've now put on my set 55, 55 to 200. And, well, I'm pretty disappointed in this thing. Um, because I wanted to try, I tried to get here yesterday, as maybe some, some of you saw. Oops, that was HDR. Um, with bike, but it doesn't work and well, I should have left it with that, but uh, the client wants some pictures from this So I'm just gonna try it and I'm just gonna try to get a picture of this Thing over there. I hope you can see what I'm seeing all the time. So kind of trying to get this small camera To see what I'm seeing mm, uh, No, not yet It's pretty difficult to control the camera with one hand So I think that could be usable if I edit it. And well, let's see if we can get some stairs over there. But I don't think we can get the round size of the stadium any in any way. And some people over there that I don't really need to get to know. So I'm just gonna try. Sorry for the camera gonna try to get black and white shots now so it can get interesting in some way so the, that looks okay but it's not really nothing you can put it up in a uh, office and I don't know what they are doing there I really have no idea what I'm looking for in here uh, it's called Milan Tour Stadium, so I'm just gonna try to get the name. But I don't really see anything interesting in here. So I I didn't don't really want to disappoint the client, so but he's a client of I think 14 people, so um, yeah, sorry for that. Okay, some heavy metal of music. Mm. 
Yeah, we could use that in some kind of way. Captain Morgan, who wants Captain Morgan? Well, it's a pretty bright sign, so... Oh god, I hate this trip over here right now. Already. So, um... Yeah, this is pretty disappointing and yeah, I think you can tell already. Um, two shots that could be good, I don't know really. Um, but none that I would put in our office, I think I saw. Maybe I'm just going to use some uh, signs that were, that were in the front and I'm just going to play with the background, get some blurry background and maybe be able to get that. Uh, something like that, something over there maybe. Mm. I don't really think so. I have no lens that could get really far into that stadium by just going through the fence over there. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to. I think it's kind of open. I'm seeing some people. But yeah. Okay, let's just wait. Okay, so that could be some artistic photo. Let's try it in color. It's really difficult. I'm gonna have to bind this mount for the camera that I can put on it. So, well, I'm gonna try to edit it and yeah. Okay, so I've been to two stadiums in my life now, and one was pretty good, the other one, sorry, but this one looks kind of crappy, especially from the outside. But I guess I could take something from the front that should work, and if he's a fan, it should be good for him. So I'm gonna go. I have the sun, that's pretty cool. We could, as a I hope you can see, yeah, the sun is in there. So, um, I'm gonna go with the, I think, 18 to 55. So, let's switch lenses. Okay, so, um, I'm now carrying three things. So, I think I'm gonna take this photo with my tripod and make a panorama with, um, a software on my iPad. So, I hope the camera's still running, yeah. So, um, let me just build this up. I'm gonna put down the camera for a second. I don't know what you can see, or if you can see anything, I'm just gonna edit it in the end. Okay, so I think I can take pictures from here. And yeah, I can do it with one hand. So I'm just gonna go from the top. I'm gonna have to lock everything down. White balance, custom. No, it's daylight, so let's go with that. Um, yeah, should be good. So first picture. And far down, and then I'm gonna take the side a bit in, just for editing later. The tree is cool, so why not? So I think 12 pictures now. Uh, I should have looked at everyone. Completely overexposed, so that was crap. Uh, first rule I learned, look at the camera when you're taking pictures, yeah. Thank you. Um, problem 
I think I should go with HDR. Maybe I don't really like HDR, but it should work better in this case. So let's wait for the picture. Um, looks a bit better, but I think I could edit that later. So I'm just gonna go with normal. So first picture second one and it looks uh, looks way better so now the down and looks good I'm gonna go in live live view mode so yeah, you can really see. yeah you can see so let's go over there looks good I mean most of it I can edit in the computer later so if some colors are not really great that should be all right. And now from the other side, I'm gonna go with the tree again. I hope the colors are gonna be all right. Yeah, looks good. And now down. And I think after this, I'm almost done. I just saw one thing I could take, and yeah, you can't really see. I'm gonna post the pictures anyway. So yeah, that's it. And now let me switch lenses again. Okay, so I'm now done and, well, actually, as soon as I put this camera away, I got, I think, three good pictures. I'm gonna go now home and edit them on the computer and show you what I'm doing. And, well, I was just taking a picture, I was just putting away my camera and taking a picture with this uh, point and shoot camera. And what I notice is, well, I, as, soon, as soon as I can zoom, I just zoom because I always tell people I wanna um, just move to the subject and not zoom in and out like crazy so that's uh, kind of a habit so it was just a little picture what I think was cool um, yeah so I'm just gonna go home now and well, see you in a second okay so um, I'm now here in iPhoto which I love and I'm just gonna import all these photos and well um, I can delete many of them right now but um, well let's just speed this up Okay, so I've imported them right now and I'm gonna throw out my SD card and put it into my iPad because I wanted to make this panorama photo, so I'm just gonna take it out. So I'm gonna do that simultaneously and let's go into... So, um, this is not what I wanted. I wanted these two. So the last one was from uh, the small camera and I think I'm just gonna go with... They all look kind of the same, so I'm just gonna go... Think the photo there. Well, it's basically it's a small photo, so that's one. So um, let's go through them. So these, I thought I could take something out of this pillar, but um, I don't know. Doesn't really do anything for me, so I'm just gonna delete them. I have them on the card any time, so I can re-put them on my laptop if I want. Well, that's small. And the sad sad thing about iPhoto is because it doesn't uh, know the or didn't, doesn't recognize the raw file so um as you know i took someone black and white so i'm gonna have to re-edit them because iphoto can really read that so i i think i took that in let's go down a bit with the exposure so i like the kind of photo i have here um i should have watched for the edge over here um because well, Jared Poland, who's a really cool photographer on the internet, said he doesn't like to crop pictures. And I don't as well, but um, I would like to... I don't know, I would just like to straighten it a bit. So if we could do that. Like that. I hope that works. So it's not really a big deal. So I could re-edit this and just take it away. So um, I kind of like this picture. Just, I mean, the whole... This picture on the wall. But... Uh, Beside that, oh, yeah, I meant saturation, not contrast. But contrast is good over here too. So this is just for me personally because I wouldn't put that on a the wall. These pictures, well, they are not doing it for me. So I can delete them. This one is out of focus. This Milan Tor picture, I think it was in black and white. So I'm just going to redo that. And I had a whole lot of contrast in them. So this is something I would kind of like. Um, 
I like how this in the middle looks. I don't like this on top. And this, well, it's San Paoli, so it fits to the scene. Um, it's a kind of it's kind of tilted, I think. Um, yeah, so maybe, maybe maybe he wants it, maybe he doesn't. We're gonna see. So this one, I which one was it? I think. Yeah, the tone is pretty nice on the second one. Let's try this one. Contrast saturation. I like to boost the saturation all the time. Contrast. Yeah, this is what I really loved. A dark contrast in a bright and really great saturation. So let's try that out with all of them. So this one has a really cool scene. It really pulls someone into the picture, and it's kind of tilted again. I don't know what was going on with me. This one, I don't know what the ca what I was. I think it wasn't black and white, maybe. I I don't really remember, but uh, um, no. So what I like about this one is here that you have you don't cut off the pictures, and. Here, I like the whole scene, so um, I'm not really sure if I could edit that together. Um, maybe I could. I could just put this on top of that. So I'm just going to do that afterwards, after the video. So yeah, so now I have here my pictures with it. All these oh, pictures, let's just import them. And I think that will all import. Select it, yeah. So that's going to take some time because they are raw files, so... Yeah, these are the pictures. I'm just gonna delete every one of them because we don't need them and as you can see the exposure was completely wrong. I should have looked at it and this is how I like it. So um we could do something and, and I think the sun is gonna be alright. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna see in the end if it did. So I think it's done. Now let's go into the app. Which I really love. It's out of stitch and I made a video of that a few years ago, I guess. Um yeah, so what was it? Oh yeah. So these were all in black and white. So I really hate iPhoto because of that, but otherwise I love it. So I was I think the last one was which I loved. This one. This one, sorry. So in black and white then with a high contrast. So I really love this picture. I think it's pretty cool. This one I think what was wrong? I don't know. There was something I didn't like about it. I think this portion was too big and I don't really like this one. So I'm just gonna delete, delete that. These, um, well, it's a car, so nothing really special. Some Pauli again in black and white. I was going black and white. I love to go in black and white all the time. But, um, no, this is just. I think I was holding the camera above the ground and just looking on the live view. Um, these I had with a lot of saturation, but I think I like the last ones with this cutoff scene a lot more. So, um, I don't really know. Um, my lenses always have these greenish tints over here because, well, that's pretty much, I guess. This one was with the 50 millimeter, I think, at I guess f 2.0, f 1.8 again, even. But it looks good. So um, I think I would go with this one, and just fi fix this portion over there. So um, I could delete this, this one, and. This um no I don't I don't feel it I don't know just straight in the middle let's go up with the saturation um contrast a bit maybe the high it could work but it's not gonna be a photo on the wall so let's get rid of the I like this one really so I think that was all no this one I really love that one in the end so I saw this one on the wall I could perfectly go onto the wall with some high so contrast. So something like this could work on a wall, I guess, if you liked. I kind of, uh, I forgot what was written over here. But it has nothing to do with uh, the whole stadium, so maybe he likes it, maybe he doesn't. And that's, ah yeah, yeah, this one is better. So let's go back, contrast a bit higher. So um, yeah, this one is way better. You can really see the curve around it, so that's what I love about the stadium for the photos. But I didn't really see that in um, the whole stadium. I couldn't really go into it, so that's not really nice. So um, yeah, I think that that went all the pictures. So um, I'm just gonna go select photos, camera roll six. Oh god damn! It didn't import all of them.
Uh, it's still it's working now. Sorry for that. So it has seven. So I'm gonna have to wait for that, and I'm just gonna speed it up right now. Okay, so the photo is now stitching and I just thought I could take this into the lab into Pixelmator, which I love and... Oh, I can I think it was this. To, let's say, just 6,000 because I wanted to take this um, other picture and put it in, on top of it. So, is it too? Yeah, so let's put this on the ground and then we're gonna have this picture, which is black and white now. Ah, sorry. Was it black and white? Oh, it's black and white and original. That's why I didn't notice. And it's seeing some faces over here. Even where there are any. So, um, we're going to go back. Revert to original. Yes, please. Yeah, this is what we had. So, I'm just going to try to put it on top of it. Okay, so it's now done and, well, the blending has been better, but um, it has some mistakes in the windows, because, maybe because of the sun, can't really recognize it, and, sorry, and the whole logo is um, very blurry, I don't know, it, it seems really easy to blend that, but it didn't really get it right, so I don't, it's a cool photo for myself, but, I mean, it got all the leaves, most of the leaves right, but okay. So this is not really any, anything, so um, I think that's all. It's quite a long video, but um, I'm just going to show the whole process from taking the photo to editing them. And well, that's all, so here's the photo again. I'm going to show you in the end, and thanks for watching, and see you next time. It sure takes its precious time, but it's got right, and so have I.